Hi, second grade. Today, I wanted to start a new project. We've been doing projects focused on the warm weather, um, diving deep into the sea, walking through the rainforest and making a chameleon. And today we're gonna do a project that is going to focus on the fall season as I've been driving around, hiking with my family, I've been seeing so many amazing, vibrant colors. And I wanted to do a short lesson with you that is gonna really focus on a couple art terms called overlapping, all right? And also I wanna focus on movement. Now, when we think about movement, a lot of times we think about movement like we're running or jogging or skipping or moving, okay? but. In art, how can we show movement on something that's flat? And so today I wanna to show you how we can give the idea of leaves falling or leaves moving. And so I have sent in your packet a black piece of paper, a piece of tag board, okay? The tag board, it's manila, it's like the yellowish brown candy color. All right, it's tag board. And then a variety of pieces of construction paper. So for this project, you will need some scissors, you will need a glue bottle, and I wanna focus on fall leaves. Now I'm going to do a leaf shape that is very, very simple, but I think it's very important to think about how we can show movement. All right, so on my paper, I am going to start with my name. I always wanna show ownership and say, this is what I've created. All right, um, I have a metallic marker here. That's why it shows up. You could use a white crayon, a white colored pencil, something that's going to stand out on there. All right, so with my piece of tag board, I'm going to create my very own stencil. So I know there's so many different trees. When I go out walking, I see oak trees, maple trees, um, ash trees, tons of different trees that are in our neighborhoods and community. I'm going to be focusing on a tree that I don't even know the exact name. Um, I know we have this bush on the side of our house called a burning bush. And so it has leaves very similar to this. And I like the shape for this project because it's going to be easy to cut out and easy to trace, but also we can really show movement. So think of that football shape. All right, after I have that football shape, I am going to cut my leaf out. And this will be my stencil, my tracer for this entire project. So I'm gonna show you a couple examples here. And so you can see, I can actually create a few leaves on this paper. So you could do side by side. And you might even look at me and think, Mrs. Barry, you could even do that much faster. And so I'll show you another way that you can do it a little bit quicker to get your leaves. So this project not only is focusing on movement and that word overlapping, but it's also helping with your, your cutting skills, your tracing skills, your gluing skills, all of those things are really important to always be exercising your mind, your hand, working all of your art senses together. Okay, it's important to be exercising them. So if you were looking at me where I was putting the leaf, yes, you are correct if you thought, hey, you could just fold your paper. So since I folded my paper, I'm going to cut. I have two. All right, so these are all fun little ways that you can get some leaves. Now I went through my pile of paper and I tried coming up with a nice variety. And I'm going to allow you be an artist today. I want you to think if you want to focus on just the warm colors, just the cool colors, just the colors that you see out your backyard off the trees, that's fine. I went pretty extreme where I even added some turquoise colors. Can't say I've ever really seen a turquoise leaf, but in art, we can use our imagination. And I also like the idea of just a nice, vibrant, colorful piece of artwork, especially working on our black paper. You will notice how 
vibrant these colors are with that black background. It really makes everything stand out. Okay, so you can see I'm getting multiple leaves. Purple, I have seen purple leaves. Let's see if this is gonna fit. Ooh, just going to fit. Okay, so I am going to pause here. I'm gonna cut out a variety of leaves and I will be back once I get all of my leaves cut out. All right, so I will be right back and you can watch. Okay, so I have finished. I have all of my scraps pushed aside. I'm done with my crayon. I have a nice variety of colors here. I would always recommend, you can actually see how I have some of that crayon on my leaf. That's my side that I'll put the glue on so when I flip it over, no one will ever see it. Um, if you have way more leaves than you need for this project, just save them. You could always create something else with them or you could create another piece of art or share with your brother or sister at home. So a couple of things today. If we talk about that word overlapping, overlapping is when another object or shape or even lines goes on top of something else. All right, so these leaves are overlapping. If they're like that, they're not. So movement, or if I think of a pile of leaves, all right, I'm just gonna toss these down like they're all falling from the tree. Okay, so I was just saying my, my video got cut off, so I'm just gonna continue. But I was just talking about how that is not overlapping, these are overlapping. And I was showing you how when you think about leaves on the ground, they're all falling, they're all you know going over each other and that's gonna give it some depth and dimension. Um, and when I say depth and dimension, it just gives it some layers where if I were to have these all separated, it's going to cause my artwork to look a little more flat. All right, so you can see how flat that looks, but then when you start doing some overlapping, it gives it some interest with some dimension and depth. All right, so that would be the first thing. Another idea would be to think of how leaves are like grouped together and then blowing in the wind to show that movement. So I thought it would be really fun to come in and start overlapping. And what's fun with this project is you can play around with some colors. Think about what colors you like together. Maybe I don't wanna do a red and a red. I've already used that color a lot. So I could come in and then very gradually, these leaves start separating and it's going to give it that idea of movement where they're going to float down into the air. Okay, so I want, ooh, I just move that. But I want you to have fun arranging once you're done arranging your design, once you're like, oh, I came up with it, I like it, you can always keep moving things little by little. Come up with a really great design. Okay, so something like that. You can kind of see how it looks like they're blowing down. All right, so I am going to finish working on my design. I'm going to use my glue and glue my design and I'll show you my finished product. All right, hope you enjoy this.